Good evening. This happened around 3.30 this afternoon in this retention pond behind me. It's in the middle of an apartment complex in the 800 block of Panorama Drive just off Quinton Road. Here's some video from Skycam 9 over this scene a bit earlier tonight. Uh, Palatine Police and Fire did respond here and once on scene they confirmed they did pull two children from this water uh, from the water. Both boys they were transported to the hospital. We do not have an update yet on their conditions. Now divers here found one of those children uh, underwater pulled them to the shoreline as we were watching from overhead, loading that boy onto a stretcher and then performing CPR. We also saw an adult sitting nearby on the grass holding a child wrapped in a blanket. Now, moments ago, we had a chance to talk with a resident here. He says that these children he believes are siblings. He recognized them from the complex. He believes they are roughly around three and seven years old. He says he was inside his apartment when uh, they wandered out onto the ice and he heard some commotion outside. Um, he was in the kitchen. Um, he heard the screaming and the yelling and he saw the lady running. So that's when he went outside and he saw the two kids struggling uh, to, to, you know, for air. So he went with the mother. They were trying to walk in the ice and she took a bad step. She slipped and that's when the ice was breaking and then my brother-in-law submerged down and that's when they knew they had to get back. And then one of my family members, uh, DeAndre, he tried to um, help him out because my brother-in-law was that he was the water was at his neck and he felt his body shriveling up. He couldn't move and he was about to go down. He was about to give up. That's until my family friend DeAndre got him out and um, that's when the police, uh, the police came and that's when everything went down after that. So. That witness, Kellen King, says that he estimates that those boys could have possibly been underwater for 15 to 20 minutes. Again, tonight, we do not have an update yet on their conditions. We know they were transported, as you mentioned, to Northwest uh, Community Hospital in Arlington Heights. We're hoping to learn more about how they are doing, uh, and we will bring you a live report tonight coming up at 9 o'clock. For now, live in Palatine, Dana Rebic, WGN News.